I tell Medicare that I have a new address? Do I just call them up, call 1-800-MEDICARE and tell them? No, it's not that simple. This is the government we're dealing with. We're going to take a look at that today. Hey, this is Bob Vineyard, your Medicare expert with the Georgia Medicare Minute. And we're going to talk about some things that seem like they should be relatively simple and easy to do, but because we're dealing with the government, it's not what you think. Okay, first off, if you want to change your address with Medicare, you go to Social Security. <laughs> you tell Social Security that you've got a new address, and then Social Security tells Medicare that you've got a new address. Now keep in mind, this is a government bureaucracy and that's the way they do things. And we've got to keep those essential employees busy doing something. Uh, so shuffling paper, or I guess shuffling electronic forms or whatever back and forth. But when you go to ssa.gov slash my account, there's a number of things that you can do there. You can get a personalized retirement statement. You can opt out of mailed notices so you can do everything online. Check your application status, you know, kind of. There's a trick to that one, though. You can set up or change direct deposit, re uh, request a replacement Social Security card, and also notify Social Security that you have a new address. This came up recently with a client, and I always encourage my clients to, you know, if they've got a question about any of this, give me a call shoot me an email and let me save you some headache I, there's a lot of things i can't do for you but i can tell you the shortcut to how to get it done and this person had dutifully called medicare to say hey i've got a new address i no longer live in georgia i'm now in another state and they said okay no problem uh kind of and then he called his medicare supplement carrier and told them and they said thanks for letting us know we'll send your stuff out to your new address um, and then about a week went by he also called his uh, medicare drug plan part d and said i have a new address and they said no problem we will send you out details on your new plan since you're no longer in the former ser former service area well uh <laughs> after telling his drug plan carrier that he had a new address, he got rather disturbed because he got a nose from them saying, well, we now know that you no longer live in Georgia, you live in this different state. And here is your new plan and new rates. Well, he, uh, he has a $14 plan right now. This is uh, May of 2020. He has a $14 plan one of the lower cost plans in Georgia, and it works just fine for him. The closest thing to it in the new state through that same carrier is $59. So I go, whoa, what is this all about? So that's when he sent me an email and he said, do I have to wait until open enrollment to change my drug plan? And can you help me with this? Um, so I did tell him, that no, you don't have to wait until open enrollment. You have a special enrollment period. Once you notify Social Security of your new address, they will send you what I call a get out of jail free card. It's actually a letter saying that, well, you no longer live in this area, you now live in a new area, and now that creates a, an SCP where you can change drug plans right now. And he said, well, I don't have the letter. I said, well, you did tell Social Security. Uh, maybe, I'm not really sure. Okay, so that led to, all right, let's kind of backtrack a little bit. Uh, it normally takes about a month for Social Security to process this and send you the new letter. They also notify your drug plan carrier, so you didn't have to. But you know, since you've already done it, it's uh, don't worry, we can... Uh, we can get it unwound, just have to do a little bit of backtracking. It only takes about a month for Social Security to change your new address. I don't know why, but it, well, it's a government bureaucracy, that's why. Uh, and once they have his new address and they notify his uh, drug plan carrier, then he does have an SCP and he can go to something else. As it turns out, 
There are no $14 drug plans in the area where he has moved to. The closest one is $22, which is not as good as $14, but it's a big improvement over $59. So uh, we're going to get him straightened out. It may take another week or two and so forth to, to get it all done, but we're going to get him straightened out. So anytime you think there's something simple like changing your address with Medicare, don't try it yourself. Uh, give me a call and I can, I can shoot you the information so that you can do it and get it done right. And off we go, you know, then live your life in the new, in the new area. Hey, this is Bob Vineyard, your Medicare expert with the Georgia Medicare Minute. You take care. Have a great day.